ready to wire up my torque converter clutch switch for the LS swapped S10. And basically what you're doing is you need to supply power to pin 33 on the blue connector all the time. And when you hit your brakes, you need that power to cut off. So most brake switches just have power when you hit the brakes, it sends power to the taillights. So simple way to do it is with a relay. And here's the basic schematic of what we're doing with the relay. So you have pin 30 on the relay. And this is a positive 12 volt. That's a two. Okay. All right, so you got 12 volt coming in from some fuse source, doesn't matter. This isn't very high voltage, so you can just piggyback off something. Then you have pin 86. And this is your 12 volt switch, which is going to be your brake pedal. And all you got to do is find where your brake pedal comes in. You can tie into your brake, brake, brake wire for positive 12 volts, and that activates the relay. Then in the middle of it, you have pin 87A. And this goes to pin 33 on the blue connector. Pin 33. So what that does is this will always be connected and you'll be constantly sending power to pin 33. Unless you hit the brake pedal and then it's going to flip a switch inside the relay and it's going to put power to pin 87, which we're not using. Then you have pin 85, and this is your ground. So that's how we're going to wire it up. Battery, ground, pin 33 to the computer, and tie into our brake switch. So I got my relay wires connected to the battery, ground's going to negative, pin 30 is going to positive. This is my pin 87A, which goes to pin 33 on the computer. I'm just reading the voltage on that, 13 volts. This is the brake pedal switch. So this will be receiving 12 volts from the brakes and our voltage should drop to zero. And voltage drops to zero. So it's working correctly. All I gotta do is mount this in the car run this to my brake pedal and connect it to the brake lights wire. Time to connect my relay to up under everything under the hood. So I got my relay over here. Ground, I'm just connecting to a existing stud on the firewall. The power wire. Cat, why are you crying so much? You gonna come check things out? What you doing? I know, it's raining outside. So in the ground, I'm connecting to this stud on the fuse block over here. So that's pin 30, power connected to my fuse block. Pin 85, ground connected to my chassis. Now for pin 87A, that's this purple wire. I already disconnected my computer and I ran it through the loom. It's coming out right here. So that is gonna go to pin number 33. Numbers on the back. All I gotta do is find 33. And then it goes right in there. And there's pretty much a 100% chance you're going to have a pin in that spot. I pulled it out. This is for the stock harness. And I could have traced it back to whatever connector it connects to. But instead, I'm just going to pull this wire out of the entire harness and just get rid of it. So I'll just have my new wire ramp. 
So with your new wire inserted, put your clip back on. Except for removing that wire, this part of the harness is done, so you can plug this back into your computer. Now I'm up with the brake pedal, and I've got my wire ran, and this is my 12 volt activation wire, which ran it through a grommet. And this is the switch off of my brake pedal. And so what you want to do is, it doesn't matter what it looks like, they're usually all about the same. So one of them is going to be power with nothing switched, and that's this guy right here, this orange one. Then there's going to be one that activates power when you press the brake pedal. So for me it's the white one, and you'll see when I press the button inside the switch, it gives it 12 volts. So that's the wire that I want to tie into. So all I'm going to do, got my wire going to my relay, and I'm just going to use a little vampire connector. This is just going to bite into both wires and jumper that signal over for me. Just like that. So now that connection is done, I'll put my switch back on and we're all set. And this will let you wire up that torque converter clutch switch for any LS swap. Like I said, all these pedals, even if the switch looks a little bit different, you'll be able to find one wire that goes hot when you press the pedal and that's the one to tie into. So all my other connections are made. And I'm done with this project.